Hey everybody, it's Norm from Tested, and I'm so excited to be welcomed back to our studio, Schubert Tam. Here, Schubert, good to see you. Hi. Hey, Schubert, you just came back from Mission Chicago, where you and XO6 uh, brought all these figures, these Star Trek six scale figures. Yes. How'd, how'd it go? Oh, it was wonderful. I mean, I, I got to uh, talk to a lot of fans. Yeah. And, yeah. and then uh, a lot of feedback and uh, it just, it's just amazing being just being there and now I have the entire history. I mean, <laughs> that's what we talked about last time yeah. you were here. You brought yeah. some of the previews, some of the, uh, the, the characters and figures you're gonna bring uh -huh. to Chicago, but I had no idea. Mm -hmm. Nothing you have here mm -hmm. you had you had brought before. This is all new. I haven't yes. seen any yes. of this yes. before. Yes. That's how many prototypes and units you have in production. Yes. Uh, one of the things we touched on last time mm -hmm. was the difference in the costuming between uh, what production, mm -hmm. the kind of costuming, the colors a production uh -huh. uses, uh -huh. and what, as fans, we got to see on the television screen. The yes, difference correct. between screen and set accurate. And it's really cool that you brought a few differences yes. here. Can you walk me through, like, just original series, next generation, those color differences? Okay, let's start with uh, the original series. This is what they use in season three. A double knit type of uh, a fabric with uh, this color. I don't even know what you call this, a tail? Yeah, yeah, a it's like a, yeah, <laughs> yes. It definitely has like a, yeah. a, a blue, greenish, huge. Yeah, but, uh, but actually this is what we saw on screen, okay? On the Blu-ray, mm -hmm. it changed colors. Because of the color grading, because yeah, of the, the lighting. Grading, lighting, and yeah. uh, of course, the monitor will make a difference. Yes, yeah. Okay, the yeah. monitor you use, that's why we see many different monitor yeah. at Best Buy, right? Right, right. So um, color will make a huge difference. Yeah. So uh, this is what I'm, I'm, I try to do. I let people make their own choice. And when you first described that to me, mm -hmm. I was trying to think about, because you know, I've seen the screen use stuff, but you rarely see the images side by side. Yes. And when I look at something and it's a blue, it kind of it looks right to me. Like yeah. I look at, that's Spock. That, that's exactly how I think of Spock. It isn't just a, a, a brightness difference, because there is a, a brightness difference. There yes. is an actual a tone difference. Yes, there's a tone difference. And also the fabric itself make a difference on tone. Because ah. uh, the thread, the, the mm -hmm. distance between each thread, mm -hmm. we create shadow, right? right? Shadow is black color. Black color uh, uh, can't darken right, right, the, right. the color, yeah. right? So uh, that makes a difference. Like the material over here that I used this, on this prototype is actually wrong, okay? So the reflection is not what I wanted. This one right. is, okay? The set one, mm. the set color mm. one is correct. But this one, I need to use uh, another different fabric for it. So what you're saying is even as you, we talk about, you buy bolts of the fabric, you yes. source them, you're custom dyeing them. Yes, correct. Right, to, to your specifications, yeah. but you're choosing even different types of threading yes. between a set and between a screen accurate figure as you're gonna be selling both of the versions yes. of these, uh, because even at six scale, the, the amount of light hitting that thread changes the look of it. Yes, correct. Um, originally, I was thinking doing season three, yeah. Set color, but I find out because the material mm. cannot match. Oh, so I'm going back down one level to season two. I find some material that might work with this uh, <laughs> screen color. Okay, I, so, so funny. we have everything. Right, right. So <laughs> if you're going as nuanced as you're trying to match a specific season of production. Yeah. Because they make new costumes yeah, and new like costume. changes. Yeah. You know, famously, of course, in Next Generation, the big switch over between season mm -hmm. two and three. But because it's to satisfy the accuracy that you're going for, of what materials you can source, yes. and the dyes that you can have. Yes. Hmm. Uh, if I can't do it, I don't want to do it at all. Okay. Right. If there's a possibility, yeah. then I will move on with it. Right yeah. now, I find a very good material for season two. Yeah. So that means I can make the screen color more accurate because it's more like, it's not, it's not double knit. Mm. In season two, mm -hmm. it's Fresno like, mm. right? Fresno like mm. uh, mm. uh, type of fabric. Yeah. Okay, so I need to find that uh, 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 s the smaller version of that yeah. and dye the correct color. Then I we will see what we saw. This is very interesting. I, I have some replicas of costumes from uh -huh. the original series, and they are more set accurate than yes. they are screen accurate. It has that deeper turquoise yes, to yes, it, yes. Uh, which again, when photographed, when under the lens, it's going to look hopefully to you out there uh -huh. as you know. If I uh, color adjust it, it'll look as if they saw on yes, screen. But yes. 
kind of choose what you want yes. for your eye or for your photographs. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Moving on to next generation, what I grew okay. up with, it was filmed on film, but of course edited in video. Uh, there's also this, this difference between screen yes, and set color. And we have some new sculpts here that I didn't see before, Riker yes. and Jordi LaFour, Jonathan Frakes, LeVar Burton. Uh, tell me about these. Okay, now this is uh, Riker over here. As you see, the command red is very different. This is what I tried to, I, I got out from a BenQ monitor of mm -hmm. that caliber yet, okay, with a blue uh, Blu-ray. And this is the set color. Yeah. So this is actually, actually the color uh, of the uh, pop they use mm -hmm. in the film, okay? So even, even, even though at this moment, where you can actually see the color difference. Yep, yep, right? to my eyes. This, it does, and from the monitor. <laughs> it, it's so, there's almost like three things going on, yeah. right? There's the, the set accurate color. So to uh -huh. my eyes, this is, if I was on set in the late 80s or early 90s, I That's guess. That's what you see. Right, season three and onward, this is what I'd see. Mm -hmm. There's what people out there see, which would be something this, like something like that. But to my eyes, that looks almost wrong. Yeah. Yep. It's it's like a it's a pinker almost. Yep. A little bit more a Look at the screen. Yeah. Looks good. <laughs> in the screen. Wow. Okay, in the screen it looks good. Yeah. Right? But uh, yeah. but to my eyes, I vastly prefer yeah. the on set look, but to the screen, people might want that's how they remember it. Yeah. Uh and, and because all your lights over here is around fifty five K, okay, is uh daylight. Yeah. Um if you look at this color at night, the color changed again. Yeah, right, right. Yes. Okay, the color yeah. will change. Yeah. Golden hour Riker, very different yeah. than yeah. Yeah. middle of the day Riker. Yeah. But for picture, <laughs> this guy looks really good. Yeah. And video. I mean, wow. it looks really good. I mean, this wow. color. Mm. Okay. This is one to uh, uh, command red. Yeah. Okay. And over here, we have Jody. Same yes. thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. The colors are different. This is over here, set. Right. Okay. It's darker. And this is screen. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Again, very different. So f we're showing three different colors here, right? Because you have the blue from the Spock, you have yep. the command red, you have the engineering gold here. Yep. For each version of the uniform, mm -hmm. you're sourcing two different dyes. Yes, right two now I am. Yes. Wow. Yeah. And from a production standpoint, it's actually, it's just the sourcing that's the, 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 the big the research, right? Because you the sa same head sculpt, yeah. same body, mm -hmm. you're like the cut and sew eventually will be the, the, the same, Usually obviously. Same. Yeah. You're saying you're sourcing different, the fabric you said oh, for yeah. Spock, but you, you're allowed because you have, you know, it's basically working through the same pipeline. Yes, correct. Uh, you can then release two different versions. Yes, yes, because uh, it's an uh, ecosystem. So yeah. we can practically do anything we want mm -hmm, instead mm -hmm. of going through a lot of channels. Right. So uh, it, it's very flexible yeah. in our production. So um, we are, I'm very strongly convinced to offer two colors mm -hmm. so people mm -hmm. can choose. <laughs> I'm so curious, obviously there are a lot of fans in the Star Trek forums and the uh -huh. collectors forums having very strong opinions, yeah. but for our audience, I'm really curious what people out there seeing it through the screen here, oh, yeah. what their preference is. Yes. And, and like what, and, and you know, maybe they don't have a strong opinion, but fans, I think definitely, yeah, Star Trek fans, fans definitely have uh, a very well, visceral reaction to this. Well, everybody have their own preference. Yeah. So that's why I always tell my friend, okay, build your own Star Trek. Okay. Yeah, build right. your own version of one six Star Trek right. the way you like it. Okay. Right. The color that you like it. Yeah. But uh, both looks good. I, I think they all both, look great. Both, both looks and Jordy, uh, the visor does remove. Yeah. You are doing a full painting underneath. Correct. With the the kind of the, the, the milky white yes. eyes. Yes. There. Yeah. I was uh. I was thinking at first I was trying to be lazy. Uh, let's do first contact. And oh. <laughs> forget about TNG, so I don't have to do jo Jody's no, visor. No, no, no. You need you need the visor. Yeah, I know. The visor is such an essential part of his character. Correct. Yeah. Uh, one of the things we also talked about last time was you're going to do the history of Picard, right? One of the reasons yes. you're covering the, the the whole span of Star Trek is you're following the life of these characters, and Picard is a character who we've seen from very early days of yes. command through all his trials and tribulations in through the, the Borg saga and now yes. of course in Star Trek Picard. Uh, we didn't get to see a kind of TNG era, mm -hmm. you know, middle of the season Picard and you've brought one here. Can you yes. talk about this this Picard that you yes. have in a, in a beautiful alcove yeah, diorama? That's where it's supposed to be. Okay, this is a uh, TNG Picard. Wow. Different head sculpt, the yes. younger version. Yeah, this is not that bitter Picard yeah, you talk about. Yeah, it's not that bitter. It's more, uh, we want to have that confidence look. Yeah. Okay, yeah. confidence and dignified uh, a Picard look. Okay, instead of that, uh, I mean, 
I want to kill everybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. This this is the one who's you know who's who's this gonna lead the ready Dakota room. Know, okay? He's on the bridge. Yep. This is the uh, with the jacket. Of course, this is one you know he has the the jacket off for like yes. when he's doing uh, when, when Darmok. Yeah. Right? If you wanted to do that episode, you can have the gray underneath. Uh, also, a very different material yes. here. Um, actually, there's a history behind this jacket. It's it's one year anniversary after Lacutus. Mm. Uh, I think a rumor said uh, Mr. Stewart uh, requests this uh, outfit mm, so mm. he can be individual among the crew, oh. okay? Because he's lost his individuality because of Bo. Oh okay? yeah, so a little more distinct. End, yeah, he want he wants something distinct, uh, different for Picard. Wow, it's a character, so he stands out from the group, the rest yeah. of the group that he is individual. We also uh, you mentioned about the the body forms, how you yes. design them, knowing that characters will wear layers of costuming. Yeah. No better example than this, when yeah. you have you know, a, a, a uniform underneath, a jacket, and it still needs to have the physique of, of yes. Patrick Stewart. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the body are, are specially made for mm -hmm. putting uniforms on. Right. That's why they don't look foggy. Yeah. And if you look at uh, all these characters' lineup, yeah. look at their height. Yeah. I mean, they are really one sex scale height. <laughs> well, you talk about you have that spreadsheet. You you know exactly how tall the actors or the, their yeah, dimensions, you know, at that era in that season, mm -hmm. you know what what their their stats were, so that you can replicate for that era. Yes, specifically, we try to yeah. duplicate what we remember. Yeah. Well, also I also think there's a lot of fun in the posing too. There's yes. more confidence, right? When you have the right accurate height, you can do like a, a more lifted pose versus yes, a hunched yes. pose, and, and that's that's a, only something you can do with a posable figure. Yeah. At six scale. It's Interaction. Kinda, that's why I like a uh, one six scale instead of statue. Statue yeah. usually after after you brought it home, you take it out, you put it somewhere, and then it's gonna be there. Right. But yeah. action figure is different. Mm. While you're watching a movie, you can bring them some. Bring one down yeah. and uh, manipulate yeah. them. Right. You, do you, some posing. You're capturing yeah. certain moments. You have uh, interaction. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's X amount of interaction with, with action figures. Yeah. Okay. Moving on. Yep. To going back in time a little bit to okay. the original series. Uh, this is super exciting. I didn't. I was asking you about you know Kirk, Spock, McCoy. You have the the motion picture, of course, that you brought last time. Uh -huh. Moving on. Now, The Wrath of Khan, this is like real iconic, that movie uniform. Yes. T talk about the cut and sew okay. of, of something like this. Let's grab, let's grab Kirk here. Okay, I think, I think a, lot, a, a lot of uh, uniform Star Trek fans wants to make one. I love, love, I mean, it's so iconic. You have like the, yeah. the, 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 the softness of the material, the yeah. collar, right? There's, yeah. there's, there's the unique quality to it. That yeah. And for those uniform fans, I think, they must agree with me. This look really good, okay? I mean, this is exactly what they try to do in one-to-one -one scale, mm. okay? This is what it is, <laughs> okay? We made it, okay, the cutting is nice, the shoulder is sharp, yeah, okay? Yeah. We call them like, uh, uh, we have a specific name for it, okay? Yeah. <laughs> okay, the trim is very thin and narrow, Okay, everything is very refined, and then we all have all die cast uh, uh, parts there, mm. so they are more realistic. Mm. Yeah, that that shoulder, that sharp shoulder. It's almost like going to get a suit fitted. I'm on you, right? I'm on your suit. <laughs> it's a ta you're tailoring him, right? Because yes. it is about the drape on yes. the shoulder. Like, yes. It's too long, and it'll, it'll, it won't look fitted. Yes. And to fit it on a body that is a hard body, right? Mm -hmm. Like there's only so much you can do. You have to make the cut and sew perfect. Correct. A little background story. First thing we have to get the body shape first. Yeah. Get the body shape. Then we go into uh, fittings. Uh, I mean, getting the cutting for this uniforms. Mm -hmm. Even though you have, we have the base, Spock is different from him. Yeah. We have to redo everything. So the the Spock jacket different. It's than the... different. It's not like right. scale it bigger. No. Yeah. It's not like okay. <laughs> right. Right. Even though the yeah, you're you're looking you're looking at the same essential elements. Yeah. But uh, the Spock one. Wow. Yeah, the 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 height they have a fight, very nice height difference. Mm -hmm. Even the body shape, you can see it. Mm -hmm. One is uh, chubbier, okay. Mm -hmm. One is a uh, uh, um, little yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Narrow, narrow, yeah, tall, narrow tall, body, leaner. Taller, yeah. leaner. Yeah, I mean, I, I love this figure. Wolf of Khan has to be the best. Of course, of course. This well, thing. you know, there's also not not just the this you know the this uniform here. Mm -hmm. There's also the jacket. Oh yeah, right. Okay, <laughs> Which this one. Everybody wanted to do that one. Oh that's my one. gosh. Yeah, that's what. Talk about this yeah, jacket. Yeah, that's one. Okay. The big Uniform collar. people love this, okay? Love 
not too many people are able to do this. I think yeah. that's no more than 15 out there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, a fan, sure. fan made. Sure, okay? sure. That looks good. Yeah. And then I think this is one of them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, this is really nice. I mean, um, uh, we use the very similar fabric, mm -hmm. even the color. We get the, uh, um, we, uh, we, for, I got some very good, reliable information, mm -hmm. okay, to get this watch. And then from that watch, we make this. They look the same, right? It's they look diff different, right? The diff color. Yeah, yeah. But on the screen, it look the same. See, that's another demonstration of colors. Okay. So this jacket, yeah, no, to my eyes, they're, they're yeah, different. Yeah, totally different Yeah, color. this is darker, a little darker, a little more burgundy red. Yes. This is a little brighter, but it's supposed to, on screen, they are... They look the same. They are rendered the same by the lighting. But yeah. when you look at them, totally different, wow. right? The color is totally different. You, you cannot mistake in them. <laughs> now, talk to me about the, the, the manufacture of this, because mm -hmm. I look at this and this looks complicated. Like right? when I imagine a cosplayer, yeah. you know, doing the cut and sew for this, it's so much patterning that has, involves so many different materials and colors. You know, when you look at this from a manufacturing standpoint, mm -hmm. is this just way more expensive to manufacture yes. than, you know, than one of these uniforms? Yes, uh, yeah. it requires more uh, pieces. Mm. Okay, and then uh, more uh, we have to be more organized. Mm. Okay, mm. because of uh, this all by procedures. Mm. We do the sleeve, finish all the sleeve, and all sleeve put aside. Got we do all the color, and then Got all it. those things um, has to be organized. Mm. And this one has a lot of small parts. Right, right. And look at the piping of the shoulders. <laughs> okay. Fabric pipes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. a lot of parts. Yeah. So um, it's gonna be difficult. Yeah. But uh, I think it's it's something to. Collect. I mean, you can't even get a one to one. I mean, one to one yeah. they sell for what three thousand dollars? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Four thousand. Yeah. Or something yeah. like that. Well. Yeah. I see even the, the yeah yeah you have the <laughs> the rings in the back and all parts yeah. is uh we already done all the parts working okay. zipper of course yeah so you're really yeah. if, even the zippers yeah yes yeah I see that all the way to the top <laughs> right but you got to have that that big the, the, yeah. the big collar yes. Uh, you know, you go through the multiple passes in your the the assembly line, so they're yeah. piecemeal constructing it, and and like they would be doing on the paint, the, yes. you're basically going many passes, and the more complex a garment, yeah. the more passes you have to go through, and yes, consistency, and, right? And, and, and QC issues, right, 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 right. This one has a lot of detail into it. Mm. I think it's a um, it's a nice piece. I think it's a beautiful okay. piece, beautiful. I mean, it's yeah. ambitious. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You yeah. show off a lot of uh, uh, good tailoring in it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, speaking of tailoring and just ambition, mm -hmm. some of the stars of the show, things that I didn't ever expect, like I mean, maybe years and years down the line, mm -hmm. you have Klingons, you have Quark here yeah. from Deep Space Nine, mm -hmm. and that's an amazing costume. That's that's Michelle Yeoh, yes, in, Michelle Yeoh. The, yes, correct. from the Mirror Universe. Yes. Oh, I wow. I love this costume. I mean, it looks majestic. So, oh. um, so uh, we spent a lot of time on this costume. I have to yeah. actually. Uh, it is beyond um, my shop mm -hmm. uh, a uh, capability mm -hmm. or ability. Mm -hmm. So uh, we actually work with another uh, producer, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. uh, a very good friend of mine, to have this done. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, I was I just want the best figures yeah. coming out from sure. uh, XO Six because I have a responsibility. So I don't mind working with uh, another uh, uh, vendors. Okay, as long as they can get it done. Yeah. Okay. And 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 I picked one of the best one yeah. in the industry to do uh below bar and uh the Klingon over here. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it is a different set of skill sets you're telling it's me. It's totally different. Right. It's not just like you can go to a factory, even though like you know the no. factory, you know the people running it, you have a good relationship with that. Mm -hmm. You know, there are gonna be people with certain levels of expertise or access to certain production lines that yes. they can they can do something. At a quality that meets your standard. Yeah. Um, uh, as most people know, I used to work for another company doing one six scale track, and then I've been doing that for a while. And then people was who were working with me already gained a lot of knowledge. Mm -hmm. Okay, from that end. And after I have XO six, have the license, I built the production specifically for uniforms. Mm. Got okay. it. Star Trek, Starfleet uniforms. Right. That's where the expertise is. Yeah, yeah. That's why you're so proud of like the, the tailoring uniform. of the. Yes. Yeah. yeah. We focus. Uh, I'm a specialist guy. Okay. Yeah. 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 I don't like to go around things. I want to be good at one thing. Right. So we are very good in doing one six scale Starfleet uniforms production, which is a different type of manufacturing skill set. You very can't different. ask you know a, a sewist to say, 
make me a cape or make me a big dress Not when right. they're making uniforms as their expertise. They, they, they might be able to do it, but it might take forever. Right, yes, and okay. you, gotta have, you gotta think about time to manufacture, and yeah. all of this is factored into production costs. Yeah, I might as well find the best one. Yeah, Okay. yeah. Source outside, I don't mind doing that, and, and, mm. and anybody do that, okay? Mm -hmm. But, uh, but uh, for, for this two particular uh, character, I need to source uh, yeah. outside support. Wow. But, um, uh, the, the the result is great. Yeah, it's yeah. Okay, it's it is. Beautiful. It is incredible. I mean, it, it, it just <laughs> you, you're capturing kind of the very extravagant design that Star Trek sometimes is known for. Yeah, we need to. We see. We see. <laughs> we need. We need some memory, right? We need to pick up the memory that that comes up. This is Star Trek three, right? Yeah. And this is practically um, standardized Klingon. Yeah. From tier, um, from that area all, all the, the way, way down to uh, yeah. what? Uh, and Enterprise. The yes, yeah. Okay, yeah, right. this is standard Klingon. Right. Okay, so I got to make him. Yeah. I have to make I mean, Wolf, of course, we're going to make him Wolf, okay? But as a Klingon, I mean, Klingon, this is grandfather of Klingon. It's beautiful. In, uh, in the Star Trek franchise. It is a debate in the community of rooted hair versus yeah. sculpted hair because yeah. you couldn't have more posability. Yeah. Uh, with rooted hair, with the costumes and getting away, especially long hair, yeah. in a way of collars and things like that, uh, but does require maintenance. Long time. Yeah. So um, like uh, like uh, uh, Philippa, I'm mm -hmm. Philippa. Okay, I've I've been trying to fix her hair for four hours. Mm -hmm. Okay, she looks good, but the problem is, do you have the time to do it? Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, depends where you live. If you yeah. live in Arizona. You'll be in big trouble during winter time. Oh, humidity and cold. No, and, the hair uh, will stand up. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. No, it's, to... it's it's like real considerations yeah. when, when dealing with it. And and the same as you know when people get these out of the box, you have to spend some time working on futzing yeah, with, yeah, with, yeah. with with rooted hair. So so I'm 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 face uh, so I, that because of that reasoning, I would change Philip mm. to sculpture hair. Mm. Mm. Okay, because it's not practical. Mm. But uh, for growth, I will continue using. Uh, with that hair, yeah. because I strongly think it looks good. It does. Okay, it looks really good. I mean, he doesn't have much hairstyle; just a little yeah. ponytail in the back. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Short hair. It doesn't have a hairstyle. Okay. Yeah. Why not? Now I gotta ask about oh, okay. a, a pork hair. And one of the things mm -hmm. is this is an open mouth design. Yeah. And I look at open mouth. I think that must be a headache for for painting uh -huh. and for manufacture because. Uh, is it also you know when you, when you creatively d design like tell tell your sculptors to do it right? Uh -huh. Difference between closed mouth, smile, mm -hmm. open mouth, that all affects production yes. as well. Uh, usually I do it like this. Uh, most of the sculptors are likeness artists. They have good talent of that, but mm -hmm. they do not have the knowledge of uh, engineering mm -hmm. and uh, productions. Mm -hmm. So uh, usually all I need to get from them is get me the likeness, okay, yeah. and that will pass it on to my Scotty. Right. Okay. Deal with this guy. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Make yeah. it work. You have an okay? engineer, a miracle <laughs> okay. worker. Make That's it work. It's going to make it work. Fit it in. Okay, yeah. whatever. Okay. This is what happened. Okay. I have this likeness. Okay. Open mouth. Okay. Okay. How are you going to have this done? You deal with it. Okay. Yeah. And then he will come back with a, a solution. Okay. We're going to make a uh, mouthpiece. Okay. Inside right. mouthpiece so we can paint easier and more realistic. Right. And they will come back to me. I take a look. Okay. It looks good. Okay. Usually it looks good. Yeah, because I, I I I'm operating all this like a captain. Sure, what sure. What they tell me is you're good. delegating and you're trusting yep. your people. Yeah, I'm t I trust them. Yeah. Ninety percent, I won't change anything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this, like some of the pieces that have open mouths, it's a separate molded yeah. piece inside. Inside. that gets plugged in from inside. from the inside yes. and it actually makes it more believable because you have a, a natural seam line between the lips and the teeth, uh -huh. and you have different finishes like the gloss. Glossiness yes. on the teeth as well. That's why I call it effective and efficient uh, operation. Yeah. Effective, okay, is the uh, process. I mean, how we do it, okay? Mm -hmm. Efficient, you speed up production time too. Instead mm. of doing like 10 minutes to sure. the teeth. Yeah. Okay, now I spend five minutes to go boop, spray paint, and okay, put it on. Right. Okay, right. now we only need to do the details. Right. Okay. And that allows you to, I mean, you spend the capital investment in on the tooling uh -huh. to have an extra mold made yeah. for the teeth, but in the long run, in it is, it save, is save you time, save your time and, then, and money. And then uh, quality is a lot better too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's Star Trek needs need a lot of aliens. Yes, of course. Yeah. Needs a lot of aliens. Yes. 
Well, last time you brought the, the holodeck arch, uh, yes. you had some diorama pieces. Yes. This time I see you have the Borg alcove that you yes. showed off at Mission, and you have seven of nine there. Yes. So yeah, you're, you're working all, you know, in, through Voyager, you have, uh, of course, you know, you had the Doctor and yeah. Janeway. Uh, so every bit of Star Trek is going to get some Actually, love. you see all the entire Star Trek over here. Yeah. It's everywhere. You have yeah. uh, the, the pilot, you have the toss. Movies. Movies. Yes, Next Generation. Yeah, Next Generation. Yeah, and then yeah. you have Voyager. You have this guy here. Yeah, from DS9. DS9. And yeah. then Seven of Nine. Yes. And then you have uh, yeah, Archer. Yeah, from Enterprise. Yeah. yeah a, a piece from every every piece of Star yeah. Trek. And, and, then, and then, yeah, we're going we're gonna to have everything. Yeah. Well, I can't wait to see more of these. I can't wait to see aliens, more aliens. Yeah, a lot more aliens. And, and a fantastic costuming. Yes. Um, this is just blowing my mind on how yes. much you were able to prototype and show off. Yeah. yeah. I, I think after this year, we'll be very good in uniforms. Okay. Uh, I mean, uh, it's not even difficult for me to do one-to-one -one right now. Okay. Yeah. My production, they actually can do. Okay? So you can challenge yourself. You can say, you can push further yep. and do things like Klingons Correct. and That's do things like the Borg and say, let's let's try to really push the limits of, of the, the, the costuming. Yeah. And, and uh, especially this, uh, a lot of these are handmade. They are technician. Mm -hmm. They don't just do the same thing every day. They yeah. need to use brain. Okay. So I need to stimulate them. Okay. Give them some challenge. Okay. Mm. Some difficult, some problem they can never learn. They can never solve. Okay, yeah. then how? That's how hey. we can improve. Artists, so I'm gonna right? give them some difficult. I'm expect them to make mistakes. Yeah. Okay, but yeah. I want them to make that mistakes. That's okay? that's so really awesome. Learn. I mean, and, and like you said, you're you're happy to halt production. You're happy to change yeah. gears. You're happy to, to switch up the materials when you find something that's more accurate in your eyes. Yes. So like, or, or redo a sculpt. So even some of the sculpts here, you're gonna go back and, and do yeah. some tweaking. Yeah. Um, most of them will be going back to the drawing board mm. over here. Most of them. Mm. I think 80%, okay? Wow. We'll have to go through another process. We do a lot of things. None of them are final prototype. Yeah. Okay, maybe maybe two or three. Wow. <laughs> okay, most of them are not. Most of them are not final, but we get it done, okay? Yeah. We have the inventory here, okay? So anything in production, something wrong with certain character, we can pull another character up and put it right in. Right. So we fill our production and never right. have a gap. Right, and you can stagger things like, you know, you're going to revise a sculpt, you can still get the dyeing done, get some yeah. of the cut and sew done. And so there are parts of production you can resume yes. and have, have it matched up. Uh, all that because you can you control yeah. different facets end to end. So so I have a, I mean, uh, I would still reach that goal, okay? Yeah. But uh, with different different arrangements. Like Kirk came down, okay, let's put a spark. Okay, yeah. let's finish up spark and then we come back for spark. <laughs> Just like um, the motion picture yeah. release that I mentioned last yeah, time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I find some last minute information, so I'm pulling it off from production. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna see if I can get that done. Even better. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah it looks simple. <laughs> but sometimes I'm I, I I I just can't go through with it, okay? Yeah. I no. see the problem there, I have to fix it. It's a point of pride. Yeah, yeah. So so I'm pulling that off, okay? Pulling that off from production. So there'll be another two or two months of delay Got on it. that one. But it doesn't delay my other release. Q start coming out. Mm -hmm. okay. Mirror Spark. Mirror Spark. Yeah, yeah. And then there's some pre sale coming in the next yeah. few months, I mean, next few weeks. Oh, wow. A lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, you're very engaged with mm -hmm. the community. So we'll include some links to, you know, where people can find more information about this lineup mm -hmm. and where people can follow X06. But Schubert, mm -hmm. thank you so much for bringing this. I, I feel so lucky to see these. Not even final prototypes, uh, but early prototypes in person, uh, and uh, I can't wait to see the final production unit. Yeah, I'd love to share this. I mean, this is this is really fun. I mean, yeah. like like a weekend having a toy party with friends. Right? <laughs> that's, uh, that's exactly how I feel. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's that's how I feel. Okay. <laughs> Thank you all so Thank much you. for watching, and we'll be back next time. Bye. Bye.